you want to see something cool? What's this? Let's say our vowels together. Here we go. A. A. I was doing research online about how to make reading workshop more accessible for students. I listened to it last time on the iPod. I mean, I can read books to them, but not as much as I would like to. I learned about QR codes, which are the codes, kind of like barcodes that you can scan with an app, um, and then it will take you to a link that you create. Um, so I thought the iPods would be great for kids who are not yet reading. They are all improving at their own speed and a lot of our students do not have super involved parents who read to them each night. Um, so this is a way for them to hear fluent reading. They can operate the iPods all by themselves and that's great for building their independence. Some students have intellectual disabilities. So their rate of learning is just a lot slower. Than and making sure that we have the technology to also bring in the types of adaptations and personalized learning that's going to make that curriculum accessible for all the students. Having a Chromebook station will be nice for the students. With technology today, kids when they're older are going to have to use technology and at work, at school, for the rest of their lives. So incorporating it now is a good idea. We did provide for our special day classes uh, 200 Chromebooks that are dedicated to those rooms. Those students are going to be able to access um, different types of personalized learning on a daily basis. Monsters eat rocks. Some monsters eat socks. What do you like to eat? All right, write that down. Decided to count my treasure teeth. Yeah, I am excited to count my treats or treasure. Awesome. Kindergartners through 12th graders who have learning disabilities are able to access the general education as much as possible. We have a plan in place to slowly switch from a separate curriculum to the Common Core. In addition to getting actual content over the internet, we're able to provide speech-to-text programs, um, audio books, so that they can hear grade-level literature. I'm really hoping that the use of technology, you know, engaging curriculum is, is going to really show up in both, um, you know, qualitative and quantitative data. With the assistance of Chromebooks as part of an overall Common Core education, just the quality and the depth and breadth of what they're able to understand and therefore produce should create visible, tangible outcomes that we can see. I don't think technology should replace teaching, but it's a great supplement and it's a great way to keep kids excited and motivated about learning.